Good evening. It's good to be with you on the Sunday evening. Um, I think everybody got my message. If you're in, in, if you're listening and you've tuned in, thank you for having tuned in. Thank you for being with us this evening on this Sunday evening as we <clears throat> as we break open the Word of God and share the message that God has laid in my heart in this in this period that we that we find ourselves in. And it's good to visit like this, even though we haven't we don't, we've not seen each other face to face. Um, you can see me, I can't really see you, so to talk to each other, just say hi, you on, you, what, what you, you're visiting with us this evening, it'll be good to know that, and um, well, let's spend real some quality time with God this evening. So let's just close our eyes, ask God to, to be with us, to reveal what He wants us to hear in this evening. Father, we have the privilege of coming to you on this platform this evening father we have the privilege of sharing your word we have the privilege father god of receiving your love and receiving father god the the, the way that you want us to conduct ourselves so father we come to you in the precious name of your son jesus christ this evening and we ask lord that you would open our hearts wide enough and we allow you to open it so that you can speak right into our life and, and help us where we really need to be helped in jesus name amen <clears throat> amen amen and amen so there we go go to see my, my friend is safe all the way from what until that he's at his home um and that he's listening i'll talk to you about something this evening which i think we we go through on a daily basis we wrestle very much with certain things in our life sometimes we even wrestle with god and we don't go one step further than what we got up this morning so i want to look at obviously the life the life of jacob this evening and then i've, I've uh, when we're going to do that i want you to write down these three words or to memorize these three words that i'm going to speak about now from now on for no off those three words from now on so let's get into into the word of god jacob was a conniving guy we know that jacob has always had a scheme if there was a schema in the bible it was jacob J jacob stole his brother's birthright um, just in a certain way that's how he became he had always had a story he, 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 it was always, always a story behind the story Jacob never came out clean. He he always built something to achieve something. In other words, he built a story to achieve what he wanted, not necessarily what was what, what was that God wanted for him, but he did something his way so that he could get it. So there we go. My family, good evening to you all the way from Cape Town. Love you lots. And so here we go. In 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 the city or the situation that jacob is this conniving oak and this is what's happening now he gets to a place where he knows his brother the when he's esau is esau is looking for this guy he's, he's not this is not been pretty anymore and he wants to sort him out big time so he starts he gets everybody together and he, and he, and he goes in a direction and they sort of get to a place and they they came to this evening and he knows that he was coming but he's also trying to get his situation right because he's got to meet this brother of his somewhere along the line and he's got to he try and reconcile in a way now if you if you're a conniving person you will reconcile it probably in a, in a conniving way but this is what happens on the eve of that and i why i want to just just stop i can't go through the whole story but on the eve before he meets his brother <clears throat> He has this encounter with God, Jacob. And why, why is it important for you to understand, you and I to understand that? Because you see, God knows our circumstance. <clears throat> God knows exactly what you and I are wrestling about. God knows exactly what you and I are going through right now. So we, we, we as Christian folk, we would bring our problem to God. And lots of times we don't leave the problem there. We go and we try and solve it our own way. We, we even times sometimes if i did this and i put that there and and god's not part of it and we achieve something <clears throat> then we've achieved it but we can't thank god because god wasn't part of that so here's the deal 
this is what Jacob did. Jacob did things his own way. But Jacob was very well, he, he had favor with God. And I'll tell you why, why he had favor with God. So he hears Esau coming, but he's also, <clears throat> he's scared to an extent because he's got to face what he did wrong. <clears throat> so what happens is that evening, Jacob falls asleep and he has this encounter with God. You, are, you can't go through that, as I said, just now the whole scripture, but you can just page your Bible open to, to Genesis 32. The whole story is there. I just want to just, at this point in time, just focus on the 28th verse. But Jacob is, 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 is wrestling and he's having this fight with the angel. And what he's saying to the angel, he says, <clears throat> He wants to know who he's fighting with. He wants to know what has happened. But he knows <clears throat> what his name is. And listen to how the story it turns around. So when he when he can't get to a point anymore where he is, he hears, he he he, he feels this this fist. Hit him right on the thigh. Bum. As a reminder that we fought this evening. And then he hears this voice. This person. This angel. This God who is fighting with. Because it's God who is fighting with. He says to him. The change has come right now. We fought, we fought, wanted to know, and then he said this, he says, your, he says what's your name? He said to Jacob. And he said, your, known, your name will no longer be Jacob, God says to him. You see, this is the turning point with God in Jacob's life. <clears throat> I want you to just put your life right there and ask, what are you wrestling with? right now and to hear that and to, and to get to the turning point in your life as God is going to speak to you and I this evening and call you and he says to you he says to Jacob he says your, your name will no longer be Jacob the man said from now on you will be called Israel because you have fought with God and with men and you have won I just Think about this. How many people do you and I fight with every day? How many people do you fight with in your mind every day? How many how many wrestling matches are, is, is in our minds every single day? And we want to solve it, but we can't solve it. And eventually we turn to God and we say, Lord, how, how do we solve this? And then something happens. And because we're not lucky, something happens and we say, hey, the problem got solved. But why was the problem solved? Because the problem was solved because we were we were fighting to a certain extent with God and we were fighting with, with mankind around us every day. But then God came and he and he didn't use the words. He didn't he didn't say what's your name? He just said from now on. He has three words. I said in the beginning, from now on. I want you to remember that. From now on, that's where he just changed his name. He said, From now on you will be called Israel. No more no longer Jacob. I want you to understand what happened here. What happened? Just, just this is this is this is this is watershed time. This is the change that came in Jacob's life. An unexpected wrestling match that night with a with a mysterious man symbolizes something for you and I this evening, my friend. It symbolizes that we have those wrestling matches with with with, with these mysterious things in our life. And when will these things happen in our life? What it does, it, sim it symbolizes that we have the spiritual need to change certain things in our life. And God sees that. And God sees the wrestle. And the only way that's going to happen is if we allow God to come in and to change certain things in our life. And to hear those words and from now on. You see, Jacob's past life was lies and deception. Nothing else. Lies and deception. Everything was wrong in his life. He, he goes and he... And, 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 he, and, he, and he and the angel and this man he calls, he says, they dog it, they, they, they wrestle. And he, this, he wrestles with a stranger. 
until the until the day breaks, until dawn starts. That's the this the yellow nach. It's the whole night. You see, I'm not talking about a two minute wrestling match. I'm not talking about a fifth thirty seconds wrestling match. I'm talking about setting working this whole thing through. He says, I want to know. I want to know. And and he wouldn't let him go. David, Jacob wouldn't let the man, angel, God, he wouldn't let God go. Because God wrestled with him that whole night. When did it stop? Until, listen carefully, until that, that angel sent a crippling blow to his hip. Stopped right there. What will stop us? What will stop us? And let us regain our thought train and say, Lord, I, we need to get to some place. I need to, I need to submit to you. You see, Jacob at that point didn't even submit yet. Listen, what he demanded something. When he felt that blow, he demanded something. And that's what you and I should demand this evening. Jacob demanded that God bless him. My friend, our response to our wrestling with God, when God starts solving things, starts ironing out things, we've got to look for the blessing. Because God's going to come through for that. You see, if you and I possibly could realize this evening that sometimes we, we wrestle with God. But when we do, we have to come to this place like Jacob did. He see, finally submitted. And what happens? God changes his name from Israel. Because Israel means a few things. But one of the things it does mean is God fights. He changes it from Jacob to Israel. And that is what it says is, the, the Bible says he blessed him. He blessed him. So, so we said three words from now on. From then on, or from now on, as soon as I hear God, as soon as, my, as soon as I receive that blessing, from now on, I will be different. Because Jacob was different. You see, when, when Jacob walked away there, he limped to join his family and to meet Esau. They, he limped into that. But he, he could, that was a joyous limp. That was a, a limp that was full of joy. You see, what, what, that limp that Jacob had, is, God showed me this so clearly, that that limp, which is, which is maybe an awkward limp, but that limp, was a limp of power that God had released, released into Jacob. It was an achievement that Jacob had received, that this, this, this power from God. And that lump which he had leads to the possession of every form of power. I'm not saying we should limp away this evening, but what I'm saying is how, how, how close have we been with God? Have we, have we stayed with God until he blesses us? Or do we keep on saying, man, um, you know what, my problem's not going to solve it. I don't know. Why must I bet? we got we got to wrestle with God. we got to stay with God until he blesses us. See, God let Jacob know. He said, you wrestled with God, but and you wrestled with men. We wrestle with men every day of our life. Who's on the winning side? You and I. Only when Jacob had the power of God. He had no reason to fear his brother anymore. Because up, up until that point, he feared Esau. He feared him. But then, as soon as that happened, there was, no, there was no fear in him. You see, friend, you and I need that. We need that touch from God. But when he touches us in this wrestling match, when he touches us, when we limp in a way, when, he, when, we, when we look at that limp, when we feel that limp, when we think we've been hurt in life now, we've been there, we, we say to ourselves, if I'm still limping, I have this limp as power, the power of God. I'm reminded that God was with me. You see, and this power that I speak about for a single individual comes to a place that it's found where, where if, 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 you, if, you, if you look at one person limping like that, and you see how much power that man had, had Jacob. Let me let me ask you this. Let me let me let me just put this before you. 
if that was one person how much how much power more does the, does god release as the bible tells us with two or three gather in his name and pray together wow oh friend you see how much more power will we then receive man let us let us just it's mind-blowing as far as we're concerned now, now let's just check what, what what we're looking at this evening let me, let me say the first thing that it is this this the power this this power that i speak about cannot be certain things and it's not a physical force number one it's not a physical force because if it was a physical force i'm going to ask you are we as strong as god is are we as strong as god is and as in job 40 verse 9 it says are you as strong as god can you thunder with the voice that god speaks with we cannot we cannot we cannot what are we going to do from now onwards i said from now on guys and ladies hear peter this evening for from now on what this power cannot be it cannot be mental energy it cannot be something we thinking about ourselves it cannot say it myself my problem of course i did this thing on my own because what this power is this, this mental this mental energy what it what it cannot be it cannot be my own declaration of my own understanding because my declaration of my own understanding doesn't work my power is the limp that i have if my if if i'm still limping spiritually then i've been strengthened that means that i'm in, i'm dependent on god to sort out for me what else with this power for what am i going to do from now on he said peter from now on what this power cannot be what this power cannot be it cannot be a magical power because it isn't a magical power some seem to 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 to, to some people in life today is pray this little prayer and throw this little water on there and this, this little charm and it's not going to happen that's not what it is let me read you something which says in isaiah 55 verse 15 it says this then he uses part of the wood to make a fire and it warms himself and he bakes his bread then yes it's true he takes the rest of it and makes himself a god to worship in other words what is he doing he's doing everything in a worldly manner he's not doing anything he's doing nothing in a spiritual way what is this power this power is not in a worldly way this power is in a spiritual way from this from now on let us look for the spiritual power and release the worldly power that takes us and and and, and, and let, let's just bow to idols and let's just run down the wrong path and let us seek the wrong things in our life let us walk away from that matthew 6 verse 7 when you pray don't babble on as as the gentiles do they think their prayers are answered merely by repeating the words again and again people pray like that man wow wow don't don't do that what are we going to do what this power from now on my friend this power cannot be a, this power when i say to you it cannot be praiseworthy in other words what is, what is like job job said in 22 3 says he says is, is it any advantage to the almighty if you are righteous what is the advantage if you are righteous would it be any gain to him if you were perfect answer your questions quickly because it's with righteousness and perfection in the face of god that we come and we say father it's your power inside of us it's not worldly power worldly power cannot make me righteous worldly power cannot make me perfect worldly power my lord makes you be the way you want me to be You've seen my wrestling, Lord. You've seen me fighting with you and, 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 and holding you every day and not releasing you so that I can receive that perfection, so that I can see, receive that righteousness, Lord. That's what it must be. From now on, there's certain things we can't, we cannot be independent. We can't walk this road as independent people. We must give ourselves to God and, and let God sort us out. And let him do what he must do. 20, Job 23 verse 6 says, Would it be his great power to argue with me? No, he would give me a fear hearing. God listens. He listened to Jacob. He would listen to you. Peter, what am I going to do from now on? Friend, I don't know what you're going to do from now on. I'm just saying to you, from now on, I'm going to ask you this question. You've got to turn this whole thing around. You say, from now on, I've got to look at it and say, where does this power come from? 
Where is this power available from? It comes from the Lord God himself. It comes from his nature. It comes from his goodness. It comes from his tenderness. And he, he, and, and when, we, when we receive it in those ways, then we should be standing in front of him in an excited way. And, and you see, when excitement then takes, takes control of our sorrow, excitement takes, takes control of our weakness, God releases us. He strengthens us and he comes and he lifts and he can make, gives us joy. They tell us they tell a story about a soldier who was about to kill a little child. And he put his weapon aside when the child screamed. He said, Don't kill me, I am but a little child. I am so small. Then only did the soldier put down his gun when he heard the voice of a little one. God's promise is this, God's promise is in his covenant, God's promise is in the gospel, God's promise is in his word. He puts himself under, un, under the bond of those like you and me. We come this evening and we say, Lord, we've wrestled, we, we want to be blessed in this wrestling match, Lord. We want to be perfect, we want to be righteous, we, wanna, we plead your truth, Father God. We, we come to you this evening and say, Father, if, if I'm righteous, if I've got your truth, Father, if I'm doing this but in a, all in a perf perfected way, Father, then I've also got to do one thing, Father. If, if, if you've touched me in this wrestling match, then let my faithfulness, let it flower, let it bloom. Let you see who I am, Lord. Let it be for me, Father God. Put me in a place of remembrance, Lord. Let us plead together, as your, as your word says in Psalm 45, verse 26. Let us come into that place. Let it be, Father God. 43, 26, Lord, let, let me come there. Let this, let this perfection jump out of a, 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 a relationship of grace that you and I formed together, Lord. Let it be, let it, let it walk for me, Father God. For I believe, Lord, that when I start doing these things, Father, when I know that we've wrestled and I know that you've heard me and I know that you've blessed me, Lord, I know that you will hear me when I speak to you, Father God, because you will then see me. You've adopted me as your own son, as your own daughter, Lord. And that's where we want to be, Father God. We want to say, where does this power come from? This power comes from Almighty God. Who is this power? Who is this Almighty God? He's a friend. He's a true friend to the sinner. That's who he is. Lord, can we live that life? Can I come close to you, Father God? Can I get can I come to you and, and stand close to you, Father God? Can I ask you, Father God, to this evening to, to love me? To love me, Father God, and see the things that I do. Let me walk with your blessing, Father God. Father, you know that we wrestle every single day. And the more we wrestle, Father God, the closer we want to come. And how are we going to do that, Lord? We can only do that, Father God, by growing closer to you. How are we going to grow closer to you, Father God? Is, is by things that we have done. It's acts of courage we perform, acts of love we perform, acts of hope we show to the world. It's, it's the way we walk with you, Lord. From now on. As you said, Father God, as you as you said to Jacob, from now on, your name will not be. Father God, we're saying to each other, every, every person that is in this wrestling match with you this evening, from now on, what's going to happen? From now on, what's going to change? What's from now on? What am I going to do different? From now on, how perfect will I be? From now on, how righteous will I be? From now on, how faithful will I be to you, Lord? Wow. Father God, teach me from now on. Teach me, Lord, for those three words from now on. That it will change my life completely. And Lord, every single person listening to us this evening, believe, Lord, that you've brought us to this place. Believe, Father God, that, that right now there's, there's many of us that are, that are really wrestling with you, Father God. Our problems are many, Father. Our problems are the wrestling match. We can't solve those problems without you. You are the one of the Almighty. Because it says, Father, when you when you finished wrestling with Jacob, you blessed him right there. And this evening, Lord, we come into you this evening and we're saying, Father, we want that blessing in us. We want a blessing of perfection. We want the blessing of righteousness. We want the blessing of holiness, Lord. We want the blessing, Father God, of a of an upright relationship with you. Not stuff that we that, that we glue together, Lord. Stuff that that's that's 
that, that, that we feel, that we, that we know we're walking with you, Father God. When we say, Father, we love you, we know it's a blessed love, Lord. And you can feel, Father God, that it's a blessed love. And we, we don't walk in any other way. But we walk in the way that you have called us to. Because from now on, you have called us to walk that road, Lord. From now on, you have called us. You, you change our names, Father God, in the book of life there, Father. When we see ourselves imperfect, you see us as perfect. When we see ourselves as, as nothing, you see us as something. But we've got something to do, Lord. We've got to hold on to you this evening and not let you go until you've blessed us, Father God. It is what your mark look is here. Ons kom net en, and we just pray this little little prayer that we just spoke about just now. This little prayer, we just rattle it off. Da, la, 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 and we think we're saved. It doesn't work that way, Father God. We come to you this evening and we say, Father, see, see a heart that's broken. See, see, see a spirit that's, 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 that's weeping this evening. See, Father God, a person that, that cannot put one foot before the other. Because, Father God, with, without you, I'm nothing. See a person, Father God, wrestling his life away to achieve completeness in you, perfection in you, righteousness in you, wrestling, Father God, on a daily basis. We've got to wrestle with you, Father God, until you've blessed us. And this evening, Father, is no different. We want to, we want to wrestle with you until you bless us, Lord. And the blessing will come, Father God, when we when we, know, when we hear your voice, when we know we're doing things that you want us to do, that's what we want to do, Father God. We want to stay to you and say, from now on, for no of, that's what I want to do. From now on, that's what I want to say. From now on, that's how I want to live. From now on, I want to be a changed person, Father. From now on, I can say to people, I've received you as my, as my Lord and my Savior because I'm living as a person in receipt of my Lord and my Savior. It is a great verse. You say it and to do it is the difference between those two. Because by saying it, I've lost the wrestling match and I'm not doing it. Because doing it, Father God, I'll still wrestle here and I'll still wrestle there. But I know, Lord, but while I'm wrestling away, I'm also seeking. And when I'm seeking, Father God, you're strengthening. And when you're strengthening, Father God, you're giving me wisdom. And when you're giving me wisdom, Father God, you're giving me a way to get through these things. And that's called a blessing. You bless me through such very difficult circumstances. When I have nothing and I don't know how am I going to get through this, Father God. In my head, there's a wrestling match happening. In my spirit, Father God, there's turmoil. And I can only lie and say, and I can only say, Father God, I want to pray to you. I want to ask you, I've got to, have, 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 I've got to have this belief. I've got to have this faith that when you say you have not because you ask not, it's because I have not, because there's nothing inside of me. There's no faith, perfection, or righteousness. That's why I have not. I've got to attain the faith, I've got to retain, retain the perfection, I've got to re attain the faith. Father God, then, so once I've got that, I might all go around like this, because then the load is, is heavy, in, and I'm carrying it, Lord. But from now on, from now on, I could be blessed. And so I guess, Lord, I'm, we come into you this evening, and and we're asking you, Father God, for this wrestling match that we're going through in this period of time that we have. We'll never win if we haven't been blessed. So, Father, will you teach us this evening to walk around as blessed people? And here, from now on, you will be blessed. And, Father, as you change Jacob's name to Israel, because you, that just means that he fought with you, that he wrestled with you. He, he had a fight. Not having a fight, Father, we're just having a wrestling match. Fair and square, friendly, and you'll take us through. You'll keep us where we want to be. You'll enlarge the area we're in. You'll supply something when there's nothing. Believe that, Lord, because I know 
when we read the scriptures, Father God, how you blessed Jacob. Oh, you made him a rich man, Lord. From now on, let us exercise it this way. The scripture says in 2 Corinthians 12, 7, 10, this is what it says, friend. It says there must be a deep sense of weakness. You Can you come to a place this evening and to say, I know I'm weak. But the Bible says this, when I'm weak, then I'm strong. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 12, verse 10. When I'm weak, I know I'm strong. Because you see, our, in our weakness, we run to God and we say, Father, in our weakness, help us. When I run to God in my weakness and I say, because of all I'm saying to you, Father, I'm, I'm hanging in there with you because I know my faith, Father God, is a simple faith. My faith is so simple, Father God. It's, but it's so simple, but it's good to your heart, Father. And that's what I want to be. The word says in John 14, 12, you say this. He says this. He says, there must be, if we believe in you, we have to believe that the works you do. And Lord, if you want to do a work in me, well, that will be a good work. And I need to believe that. There's, we also got to have this, this earnest, this, this, this serious obedience to do your will. Help us to do that. Because, Father, your word says that if we do your will, you'll hear what we ask for. You'll hear the words that have been spoken. And you'll see the determination. And Father, I need that same determination this evening. And Father, as we as we speak this word, we say, all of us that are wrestling, the determination is this, Lord. I will not let you go this evening until you bless me, Lord. That's determination. That's what Jacob taught us. We're pleading. It's, it's a blended pleading. We're wrestling, Father God. When the day broke, that's when it stopped. Father God, it's darkness now because our life is dark. But when we're blessed, the light comes up. The light comes up, Lord, when you bless us and we walk away from darkness. And we'll pray, and we'll pray, and we'll ask, and we'll wrestle until the day of redemption breaks in our life, Lord. We come before you, Lord. We pour out our whole heart to you this evening. We pour out our mind, our soul. We, 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 we can weep before you this evening, Lord, just so that you can see who we are. You know, Lord, that what might be weak to the world. You're interested in that weakness. You were interested in the weakness of Jacob. Jacob had a weakness. His weakness was to scanai, Father God. We all got weaknesses. Would you change that from us? Would you, would you look at us this evening and say, from now on, We want to take this power that's been turned around from, from worldliness into godliness. We want to take it for ourselves, for our own, for our own special need, for our own deliverance from, from this very dark world we, lead, we, 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 we live in, to walk away from things that are, that are wrong in our life, although it be with a, with a limp. Maybe we haven't got a physical limp, but we'll have a physical, we'll have a, we'll have a, We'd have a lump in our mind, Father God. We always think. Let us know this evening, Father, that, that our names have been changed. So that you, we aren't called they anymore. We're now called yours. We're not just hung on to it. We're now yours. Our names have been changed. Our possession. Our valuableness, our person from now on has been changed. We seek from your future comfort, Father God. We seek from your future strength, growth, like Jacob, Father God. 
we will we know that we we will go into trials and tribulation again because these things seem to follow one on the other but we have families lord many of us have families and many of us stand in the gap for that family this often this evening father god what did you do for jacob father god what did you do in his relationship with his brother esau your word says you soften the heart of esau because Esau saw Jacob as his enemy. But you softened the heart of Esau. When you soften the heart of Esau, Father God, you, 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 also, you also preserved Jacob's family, his wives and his children. And this evening, Father God, as we find ourselves on the winning side of this wrestling match, will you preserve life in us will you preserve new things for us will you also come to us lord and and just soften the hearts of of those around us that that we might have have trouble with getting through to lord many of us are are really under pressure by a lot of things but the hearts are often and they don't they don't really see how we how we are lord let people's heart be softened to 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 the body of christ lord People don't look at the at your churches as, as this just as this thing, but there will be a softness in the heart thereof. And Lord, this evening we we come to you and we say, Lord, if we have more power, because you will release that power because your blessing, your power and the blessing come together, we have to come to a place and say, Lord, let us just show people a happy face of a Christian, not a glum look, but the happiness of a Christian heart. Not, not always finding the wrong in the Christianity. And, and it, it doesn't work for me. But, but it is just so that we've wrestled and you've changed certain things. Because from now on, things will be different, Lord. Things will be different in our life, Father God. You change the lives of Abraham. You change the lives of Job. You change the lives of Moses, Samuel, Paul. Every one of those people, you change their lives. You gave them exercise power they could use, Father God, so that power could be visible for other people to see. I pray this evening, Father, you would, you would erect us as your disciples, as your children, that you would use us, Father God, people that have stood with you this evening, people that have said this wrestling match, I'm in it, I want to win it, I want the blessing. I need to go and show the power of God into a world that is broken, that is useless at the moment. I want to be that person. I want to be that Christian person. I want to be that person who works for God, who works, who wins souls for the kingdom of Christ. I want to be that person. And friend, maybe you're, maybe you're listening to me this evening and you haven't made that decision to follow Jesus. And I want to ask you this evening, if you want, if you want to be possessed by the strength, by this blessing, by this righteousness, by this perfection, by this faithfulness I speak about, then it's time that we come now and say, Lord, I need this power Peter's speaking about, that you've released this message through this evening, on this platform. Not the power of men, but the power of the Almighty God himself. Oh God, hear our prayer this evening. Hear us as we, as we shout out to you, Lord. As we wind down and conclude this evening and let us find you father in our times of trouble but as we wrestle father would you bless us would you keep us going so that we could say after hearing this message and feeling your love and experiencing what you're doing for your people from now on from now on, I will live as a child of God. From now on, I will, I will tell people about the love of Jesus. From now on, not my, not my will, but your will be done. From now on, I take those words and say, Lord, whatever, whatever you've shown me, I can do in your name. From now on, let us walk. From now on, let us stop speaking bad about other people. From now on. Love God from now on. Love His Son, the Holy Spirit. From now on, let us change our lives. From now on, let's make a decision to follow Christ and follow Him only because that's where the blessing is. 
but maybe God blessed you this evening. Maybe there's a lot to take in in these couple of minutes that we've spoken about this evening. But I believe that when God gave me that message to, to speak about, I was excited for those three words from now on. And Jacob's life and his wrestling match with God was the motivation for me and you and the next person to write the next chapter, the next chapter in our life and call it from now on. And here's my challenge to you tonight, friend. What will you do after hearing this message this evening? What will you do from now on? Amen. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for just sharing your heart with us this evening. Thank you for your word this evening, Father God. Thank you for your love, your perfection, your righteousness. Thank you, Lord, for just teaching us this evening. Thank you, Father, for your anointing this evening. Men and women have heard your message and will hear this message, Lord. I just pray, Father, as, as people are touched by you, Father God, through this message, that the working of your Spirit, Father God, even though it be in a, in a, in a, in a video format, that, Lord, did you still speak into the lives of, life of those folk and, and people's lives will be changed. Decisions will be made. And people will become a for now on generation. A generation of perfection, holiness, and, and faith, Father. Come before you this evening, my King. Lay our lives before you. Pray, Lord, that there's certain things that are not yours. Speak as people have their eyes closed and their minds set on you right now, Lord. Speak into their lives. Friend, now while your eyes are closed, I just want to say this. If you need to make a decision for Jesus this evening, will you make it? If there's certain things that you want to change, will you change it? Can you say from now on, it's going to be different. Father, men and women, maybe young people, Father God, hearing this message, want to change. Hear them. See the decision in the wrestling match, Lord, because it's a wrestle. See that, see, see that decision, Father God, and bless the decision in Jesus' name. Amen. My friend, have a good evening. It's a Sunday evening. You probably have a piece of toast and a cup of tea and a good night's rest. May God keep you. May God bless you. May you walk in his strength and his power and in his goodness. He loves you and he wants you to be perfect. Catch you again sometime. Cheers for now.